Welcome to this week's JAGcast. Um, to, today we're interviewing uh, Maya McVeigh. She's a very, very good golfer with a lot of great accomplishments. So uh, our first question is, uh, how'd you get into golf? Well, my dad played, um, and I played when I was re- like really young, probably five years old. Um, but I didn't start competing until my freshman year of high school. Um, and not, no one else in my family played golf. It was just my dad and my grandpa and then my sister. So uh, how's the season going for the team? We're doing really well this year. Um, in the previous years, we, we've we had like a decent team, but we didn't really win a lot. I think we had like one win last year at Drum Farm, but this year we've um, we've like almost won every tournament and if not, it's been like second place. So we're doing really well this year. So did you, uh, have you placed in a lot of tournaments? Yes, I've, um, I've won all my tournaments, but one, I kind of had a really rough round a couple weeks ago. So what was your uh, lowest score this year? This high school season, I shot a 67 at, I think it was Lake Valley and I think that was like a five under because the par was 72. Um, so is the uh, Lake Valley, Lake of the Ozarks? This, it's in Camdenton. So it's like right across Old Kinderhook. Oh, okay. So we don't play Old Kinderhook. The boys do. The girls don't. But yeah, um, yeah so I shot 67. Um, never shot in the 60s before. But um, yeah, that was probably my lowest round. I think it'll be my lowest round ever. But at the same time, the high school season, they get they play really short yardage compared yeah. to like the tournaments that I'll play in the summer. So uh, where's your home course at? I like to play Adams Point a lot. Um, and then the school, we go to Lakewood. So, and over half the team, they all are members there. So they all have a lot of experience on that course. So what's your favorite course you've ever played? Well, so far, I haven't played a lot of um, super prestigious courses, but I think my favorite this season was Buffalo Ridge and Branson. So have you played like Payne's Valley or any of the other ones for Big Cedar? I have not played any other courses at Big Cedar, but I would love to. Yeah, so how did it feel winning the Women's Kansas Amateur? Um, That was really exciting. I never before really went into my tournaments like expecting I mean I never go into these tournaments with high expectations it's always with the intention and that tournament I didn't even know that I was like in contention to win until like my round was over and then I was told I was in second place and we were waiting for the leader to um finish up her last two holes so and she bogeyed like I think her second to last hole and so we ended up tying and we went to the playoff hole we only played one hole because um I think we hit like identical drives like right in front of the green and then our chips were like really similar but I hit mine like two feet from the hole she had a four footer and she pulled the four footer so and then I made my two footer so um and then I won so yeah it's that's crazy look people don't realize how crazy winning a women's amateur is but um any other crazy stories um not my own but our team has had like one hole in one each year like from one of her member or one of her team mates um except for my sophomore year but it was like my freshman year dylan jones she had a hole in one and then my junior year was stephanie and then my senior year was um mia just yesterday that's so. crazy that <laughs> is crazy all right well, i think that's all all right thank you yeah thank you no.